Welcome to PLM and Vinyl, the webcast for everyone interested in SAP PLM and surrounding topics. In our show, you will see and hear the latest updates from SAP, Senate and our partner products, along with some customer interviews. And now meet your hosts, Paul Cassidy and Sascha Schwenker. Welcome to the next PLM and Vinyl session. Um, the first two have been blistering successes, mm -hmm. just phenomenal, beyond our wildest expectations. So we <laughs> had to do a third. This one's going to be a little bit different. Yep. Um, PLM and vinyl, let's start with the vinyl. Again, tenuous links between PLM vinyl, but that's my job to strain to find a connection. So, so what do we have today, Paul? Uh, two smooth crooners, two great classic albums, Sade uh -huh. and Paul Simon. I uh, once had an eight-hour dream after going to see a Sade concert, which was like the most vivid real dream ever. So I basically dated Sade for eight hours, so I have a very strong connection with that one. Okay. And then Paul Simon, what can you say? Tight jeans in the 70s. Any, I can tell any you that. dating experience with him as well? Not yet. Okay, good. Yeah. Still time. So with that said, I'll find a way to interweave something there. I will so be looking forward to it. What are we going to talk on the nearly PLM side today? Yeah, so today not really a PLM topic. We are talking about contract management. Actually, a lot of our customers who are running Senate Connect, they have other workflows. So we have customers running a budget process, uh, uh, PO process, etc., etc. So there so, are PLM customer, but they have a use case here for something. Budget, yes, and, PO. and they need to they need to workflow it as well. So what we decided is we we bundle. Uh, at least the contracts in one use case, we, we offer this as a complete bundle and uh, this use case contains of normal contract, certifications, frame agreements, uh, non-disclosures and technical changes. Okay. So uh, there are obviously different workflows, different routes of the workflows or different routes of the workflows, but they are all bundled under this contract management. So basically with Santa Connect, there's a near infinite number of use cases you can use it for. It's a platform that you can develop, almost like Paul Simon's 50 ways to leave your lover. Yeah. Slip out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. Don't need to be coy, Roy. Just listen to me. There are many, many ways of leaving your lover. Uh, yeah. Even though for the use case, oh, uh, okay. for the contract management use case, uh, what we are doing is here is, as I said, we are offering this as a complete bundle and we're adding also some additional software on top of Senate Connect, so which are specific for this contract management use case. Let's do it. Let's look at it and uh, yeah, we can see it directly in the system here now. What we have here is a typical workflow for our contract management process. Example, single contracts. It starts with the setup, goes to the coordinator, further down to the subject matter experts, after the subject matter expert, it continues to the coordinator, potential loops between the coordinator and the SMEs. Then it continues to the legal team and at the end it ends up at the coordinator again. Let's look now in detail at a setup process for a workflow. We pick the use case contract management here. Then we define the name of the contract. In this case, it's a contract for a customer called HiKey. In the description area, we can give some further more information about this contract and further down, we can define the issuer and some other information. In the control fields, we can define the business segment. In this case, it's an aerospace contract and we can pick the use case type. In this case, it's a contract. This information will define the right workflow template we are running later on. In the approval section, we can define which SMEs we would like to approve this contract and in general information we define the notification date and the renewal date. The notification date is usually earlier than the renewal date or the due date because this gives the contract coordinator time to think about the process, think about the contract and make calls when we would like to start the renewal process. The next step of our setup process is to upload the actual contract document to the SAP workflow. In the header section, in the attached file area, we can upload any kind of document to the workflow. In this example, we upload our contract Word document. We can leave some further description here. 
And from now on, this document is available to all process participants. Now the workflow advances to the coordinator. The coordinator reviews or edits the desired approvals. In this case, the coordinator adds the purchasing department to the approval group. Another part of the coordinator step is the assignment of the contract sections to the SMEs or departments. To make the assignments, we provide a special area where all potential SMEs or departments are listed and the to be worked on section can be entered by the coordinator. After this, the coordinator has also the opportunity to upload an updated version of the contract to the workflow. Now the process continues to the subject matter experts. The SME will review the contract document based on the assigned section and will provide feedback to the coordinator. In this example, the feedback is entered right below the section assignment. The system is providing a text edit function to lay out the comments of the SMEs. After the feedback, the subject matter experts will make sure that all provided SME tasks are performed by acknowledging the checklist sections. After this, they approve or disapprove the contract section with potential comments. Other options to leave feedback for the SMEs are they could upload a redlined document and attach it to the workflow. They can also assign a predefined document info record with predefined legal text sections for their department. Or they can use a message board kind of feedback functionality inside the workflow to leave general comments about the contract. After all the SMEs left their feedback, the workflow continues to the coordinator. The coordinator has a special function which consolidates all the SME feedbacks or all the department feedbacks into one screen. And based on the feedback, the coordinator is now making the call if you would like to move the contract review back to the SMEs with further comments or if the contract can continue to the legal team. Assuming that everything is correct, the coordinator has now the chance to upload a revised contract or contract update to the workflow. This contract update will now contain all the different comments from all the different SMEs. The process will now advance to the legal team. The legal team will review the complete updated contract and will leave their feedback in terms of an approval or disapproval back to the coordinator. Assuming a positive feedback from the legal team, the contract coordinator will go in contact with the sales team. The sales team will send the contract to the customer, will hopefully receive a signed contract from the customer and the coordinator will upload the signed contract to the workflow. At the end of the workflow, the system will send out an email confirmation to all the process participants to inform them that the contract was signed by the customer and that the first round of the workflow came to an end. Now the system idles until the notification date is reached. On the notification date, the system will automatically initiate a resubmission workflow. This resubmission workflow will send the coordinator team a task to make a decision on, extending the workflow by a year in case of an annual contract, renegotiating the terms on condition of the workflow with our customer or vendor, or terminating the contract altogether. In this case, the status of the signed document will change into a non-active state. This was the short overview of our contract management use case. Uh, as I said, a use case we specifically developed for NDAs, frame agreement, certification, contracts, obviously, and all kinds of other legal documents. Yeah, wow, that was kind of a whistle-stop tour through all sorts of areas and all sorts of uh, media there. Um, some smooth operating, if I may say so. Mm -hmm. Smooth operator, smooth <laughs> operator. No, that was very slick, very smooth. Thanks, Sasha, that was great. Great, thank you thanks very much. Yeah, thanks everybody to listening and see you next time. All Bye. right, see you next time. Bye-bye.